Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig. Callie, Hank, and I have been in the desert for the past couple of weeks. It's given us a great opportunity to put a lot of time in the Thermarest Uno chair. Now, I personally like to call it the UFO for obvious reasons. Now, there are a lot of qualities about this chair that I like. To start with, this case. It's hard plastic. Now this case serves a couple different functions. It's the base of the chair and it also makes into a tabletop, which I'll get to later. It's really easy to set this up. Inside is everything that you're gonna need. Also, nice set of instructions in case you happen to forget how to set it up. One thing that I like is everything fits in here easily. You're not cramming anything back in. It's not something that when you take it apart, you're thinking, man, there's no way I'll ever get this back together. There's plenty of room. You could probably throw in a few extra items if you wanted to. The poles are held in with a simple strap that keeps them in place. And you have four poles. They're basically really similar to a tent pole. They're really thick though. This chair will hold up to 250 pounds. So these aluminum poles are maybe just a little bit thicker than what you'd have on a normal tent to support that kind of weight. To start with, you're just gonna close the lid back up and strap the front of it. Once it's strapped, just make sure that both sides are clipped into place. On the back of the chair, where the back side of where the Uno is, the long poles are inserted there. And then where you have the word Uno, that's where the shorter poles go. So already, I'm halfway there, I've already got the poles in. Then comes the seat. This is simple enough. The corners just slip right over your poles. And that's what's gonna give the entire chair its shape as well as its comfort. So there we have it. This chair is all together. Now, it weighs two pounds, three ounces, as it sits just like this, everything packed in there. So it's not the lightest chair on the market, but it is really comfortable, and I love how packable it is. Because I can throw this in a backpack, we can throw it in the Ural, take it climbing, anything like that. Another nice thing about this is you can see maybe how low I'm sitting. This is gonna be great for festivals, because this should get you in no one should be giving you any flack about this particular chair. The one thing that I've noticed about it is if I'm slightly off canter, the chair wants to maybe drift just a little bit. It's easy enough to fix if I just kind of lean back a little bit, throw my feet out, get in a full relaxation chill mode. It's pretty easy to counteract all of that, but that is one thing that I've noticed overall with the chair. Now let's go to the table because that's another really cool function. If you've seen Videos from Callie and I in the past, you know that we really like things that have multiple functions because they just make them that much more useful. For the table, you're not gonna need the chair portion of it anymore. Take your poles back out and flip this guy over. And on this side, again, you have holes, but you actually have two holes on the ends. Take your shorter poles, those go into the single holes and then where you have the two holes together, you're just gonna take your pole and collapse it. It's gonna fit right into that spot and then collapse your other one. And it's obviously gonna go into the second spot there. Once those are in, you can flip it over and you have yourself a table. Now the weight limit on this is 11 pounds. So you don't wanna sit on it. You don't wanna use it as a stool to stand on or anything. That will probably break it. But it's awesome for drinks, sandwiches with this hard top. You can cut on this. It's really quite handy to have anywhere in your camp. Then when you're all done, you can throw this thing all back together and it goes back into this case quite easily, which like I mentioned in the beginning, I really like because I hate getting stuff that once it's apart, I can never get it back together. So just collapse all the poles back up, stick them in their little bungeed spot there with the seat back. All I'm gonna do is fold it up halfway nicely. And just like that, I'm set to go back on the trail. This is a quick and simple chair that works really well. 
And again, I like the shape of it a lot. We're gonna be going up to the Boundary Waters on a canoe trip, and I think this is gonna be the perfect chair to just slip in our backpack or really slip anywhere with its slim shape and take on any adventure that you may be going on. Again, this is made by Thermares. It's called the Uno Chair, something I like to call the UFO. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. We'll get back to you. If you guys are ever curious about where Callie and I are, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Adventure Rig. Thanks for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.